Well, hello everybody, and welcome to G Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And it's a windy homestead today. Uh, it did get up to sustained winds at 40 miles per hour. They're uh, calming down a little bit, they're down to 30 now. But uh, I haven't seen them go below 30 um, all day yesterday, all last night, and uh, there were some wild gusts last night i'm sure it was way up above 40 but uh yeah we're in a a total windstorm here uh gone two days and one night so far and uh, we'll see what happens tonight see if it goes on through tonight i have plenty of electricity the turbine is cranking out and uh i've got so much electricity i've been wasting it so anyway, with that being said, let's take a look outside. Yeah, there's a few clouds here and there. Sky otherwise is blue. And uh, you can see all the bushes out there moving and dan dancing and all of that. And the dogs have been fed and the dogs have had their chews. So they're all happy. Well, let's move on outside for a little bit here and take a look at what's going on. Patches and D.O.G. are uh, MIA today. They're not here for supper or breakfast. But uh, everybody else has been. And the puppies here, they don't miss a thing. Well, they, they hear me inside the cabin prepping um, breakfast and supper. And they get up by the door and they start whining. Then they all go inside the house to get out of the wind, which is smart. Oh, it looks like one of them found a chew that somebody dropped in there. So yeah, look at this. Look at this wind. And you can see the clouds all over there. Now, we never, didn't get a single drop of rain here. Nothing. Just lots of wind. Wind, wind, and more wind. And look at the turbine up there just humming away. Sounds like a jet engine turbine. And uh, I'm going to move on inside the garden house where we'll be out of the wind for a little while. And we'll take a look at what, oh, I see a chair blown over in there. I did get a question about how my greenhouse was doing in this wind. So we're going to have to take a walk. And I got buckets blown over. I got posts blown over. Yep, I got uh, grow pots blown over. Yeah, it's uh, it's been nasty. I don't see anything on this side of the greenhouse um, missing or damaged. So we'll move along and see what's going on inside there. I was asked about how much of it was left. I think it's because these... Uh, these four missing panels here um, allow the equalization of the pressure. That uh, screen over there is shredded. And this was going to get covered with um, shade cloth anyway. It gets way too hot in here in the summertime. I've seen 160 degrees in here um, before noontime. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do something about that this year. It looks like I'm going to have to pick some carrots here pretty soon. They're growing up. They're almost the size of Christmas trees. <laughs> Puppies are out there in the, in the field doing their thing, acting like grown-ups. They don't poop close to the cabin anymore. They move out into the uh, desert always and do their stuff. I'm liking the look of the, uh, the sprouts on the grapevines. That's nice. Let's see what we got over here. Hi, doggy daddy. Yeah, look at the uh, the Concord grapes are really going to town here. They're, they're waking up fast. So we'll see what happens. I, I'm not gonna gra graft any of the other seedless grapes onto the Concord grapevine because I want more Concord grapes than seedless table grapes. As I make uh, um, jellies, uh, great, uh, what, like a Welch's grape jelly, um, I make grape juice and I make 
grape wine out of the uh, Concords. So this is a very young plant and it's going to be a few years before I get enough grapes on it to do that stuff. But uh, when it comes to time, I will be showing you how I do all of that. Of course, I'm sure a bunch of you know how to do preserves and that stuff now, but wine is very easy. Very easy. Little funny story. When I was in the Army, uh, in basic training, which uh, the Marines call boot camp, uh, in the Army we called it basic training. And then we had advanced training after basic where you Got, went and got your MOS, so anyway, in uh, basic training, after halfway through uh, basic training, they actually gave us weekend passes. If you earned it, you could get a weekend pass to go home and see your family. And uh, I got a pass and I went home, and of course it was um, elderberry time. And my uh, mother and sisters had made up some elderberry wine. And I brought some elderberry wine back to um, the barracks. And I snuck it into the barracks. And I had a gallon jug of it. And I was going to say, wow, this is great. And have something to catch a little buzz off of after a long day of marching and and that stuff, well, they did a surprise inspection right after we got back. Of course, we didn't know about any of that stuff because we were new to the military. And uh, they found my wine and they found some of those chocolate bars that the, uh, the schools sell uh, at certain times of the year. Well, the drill sergeant confiscated everything, said contraband, you can't have that here. Well, little did I know, he took it back to his room and in the barracks, and he started sipping on my elderberry wine. Well, all of a sudden I got the, um, the barracks uh, SQ came and said, Hey, drill sergeant wants you to report to his office now. And I went, Oh man, I'm in big trouble now. What kind of duty am I going to get out of this? Anyway, when I get down to his office, I report it as ordered, and he says, where'd you get that wine? I said, well, we all make it back where I come from in New England. It's elderberry wine season right now, so everybody's making elderberry wine. He says, well, how long does that season last? I says, oh, another month or so. He says, well, you'll be out of here by then, but you're going home every weekend and you're bringing me back some of that wine. <laughs> so I got a weekend pass every weekend until it was all over with. And uh, the, when I got the advanced training, it was a different story. Uh, we had more freedom there. Anyway, funny story for my life. And that's about it, everybody. I'm going to move on out of here and Oh, look at all the sprouts coming out of this uh, uh, quince tree. And uh, some new branches growing on the apples. So that's going to be interesting. Yeah, new branches on the apples. So I'll be back out here doing some more grafting uh, when uh, the weather gets a little bit better. It's cold out here and it's windy. And this is G-Bear thanking you for joining me and signing off. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do that, I got a few other things. Um, thank you, Craig. And thank you, Anthony, for um, the donations that you sent. I appreciate that very, very much. It's uh, going to be a, a real tight month this month. And hopefully um, the uh, probate courts are going to hear the case on my inheritance uh, around the 14th, so hopefully we'll get good news then. And uh, this uh, painful time will be gone for a while until I pay off all my debt and 
have very little of my inheritance left from all of that. And I think the um, phony executors should be held responsible for that and uh, maybe uh, have to pay me some more. So we'll see what happens with that. But I did want to say that. Um, and I think uh, there was one other thing on my chart that I wanted to say, but, oh yeah, I did receive that uh, product in the mail that I've got to do a review on. And uh, since I was stuck in the cabin, I opened the box and I, I got the uh, instructions out. And it's a good thing I did because uh, it's a solar unit and it says that uh, you need to charge the battery for two days in the sun before using it. Well, I did that. And then last night, since I had it um, in the cabin, I just said, well, I'm going to give this a try. And I did. And I really like it. I really, really like it. It comes with remote controls and everything. So that's going to get... Uh, a video and a, and a review when the the weather changes here a little bit and right now my hands are freezing and I'm starting to shiver a little bit so I'm going to call it a, a video and we'll talk to you later this is G Bear signing off